Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for coming. Today we are going to talk about 10 differences between Russia and Israel. For everyone who doesn't know, I am originally from Belarus. We're the Republic of Belarus! But I lived in St. Petersburg, Russia for 5 years. And for the past 2 and a half years, I have been living in Israel. During my time here, I spotted a lot of differences between the countries. So today, I would like to share with you some of them. Are you ready? Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> if you want to see more videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. I remember how happy I was growing up in Russia and knowing that I don't need to serve in the army. But in Israel, the laws are different. As you probably heard, boys and girls must serve in the military. They go straight after high school. Boys serve for three years and girls for two. Some of them go straight to university first, but it's an exception rather than a rule. And girls are proud to contribute to the protection of the country. I'm still not used to seeing girls with guns on the streets. Following their military service, Israelis enter university around the age of 22. But in Russia, most people are graduating universities when they are around 21. We finish high school when we are around 17 and we go straight to college. Israelis are conscripted to the military service at the age of 18. After the army, they want to travel for around 6 months to a year before studying college. I see the advantage of going to university or college later because you have enough time to figure out what you want to study for your future. <gasps> I'm in! And I accept! Fast food service. Everything is <laughs> When I went to McDonald's for the first time, I was surprised how long it took to make my ice coffee. I felt I was waiting forever and I could see workers were not in a hurry at all. In Russia, fast food service lives up to its name. It is fast. Workers are running around to get your order as soon as possible. On top of that, McDonald's here in Israel is very expensive, just so you know guys. What? Hang in there. Can I? Do. Well, I was hoping you could run a for you. D. Mm -hmm. Zero. Three. Zero. Three. One of the reasons why Israelis speak at least basic English is the movies. When you go to a cinema, 95% of the movies are in English with Hebrew subtitles. People here listen to English from a very young age. In Russia, all movies are dubbed. We watch everything in Russian. Do you speak English? If you travel to Israel, be ready to tip. Doesn't matter if your service were good or bad, you need to leave at least 10%. Here in Israel, waiters are getting paid the minimum wage or just tips. That's why people here leave tips. In Russia, we tip only if the service was really good and the waiter deserves it. And it's more common to tip in nice restaurants. Give me money, give me money, give me money, give me money, give me money. Now we are going to talk about a very painful topic for me. Taxes. In Russia, we have a fixed tax rate. No matter how much you earn, your tax rate stays the same. In Israel, we have a progressive tax system. That means the more you earn, the more you pay. And the tax can reach up to 40%. Look, 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 my first paycheck! Oh, look at the window, there's my name! Hi, me! In Israel, your employer has to cover your transportation costs. In Russia, it's not common. People have to pay their transportation expenses out of their own pocket. In Russia, I used to see a lot of homeless dogs. In Israel, I see a lot of homeless cats. According to their latest report, we have around 2 million homeless cats. The 
The reason for that because in the past they were sent from other countries to Israel in order to get rid of rats and snakes. But it's a different story when it comes to dogs. You won't see any homeless dogs on the street. They are all chipped and can be easily found and get lost. Kiki, do you love me? Are you riding? In Israel, people are very open towards a complete stranger. You can talk to the barista while he's making your coffee, to a bus driver, to a waiter. Especially if you're an immigrant, people want to know what are you doing in the country, where you're coming from, and don't be surprised if you meet somebody and immediately get invited to dinner with their family. In Russia, people are not very open to strangers. Russians are very warm and welcome with their friends and people they know. That's why it's very uncommon to go to a coffee place, make an order and start talking about your life with your first. The last difference is the weekends. Here in Israel, Friday and Saturday are the weekend and Sunday is the first working day. When in Russia, like in most countries, the week starts with Monday. I still struggle with that and I feel like I have no will to work on Sundays. You had a good weekend, everybody? A good weekend? Yeah. One, one at a time, I want to hear all the stories. That was 10 differences between Russia and Israel. And there is so much more than that. So leave yours in the comment section. Thank you for watching until the end. I'm sending you virtual Yay! hugs and I will see you next week. Here in Israel, Friday and Saturday are the weekend and Friday is the first working day. Friday is not the first working day.